I have to ask you before we go about a firebombing of a historically black church in Mississippi that happened last night. Uh, in graffiti, vote Trump was written on the side of that black church. Um, what can you tell us about the number of incidents you're seeing like this? Because this has been a particularly um, inflammatory, there's been a lot of inflammatory rhetoric and a particularly ugly election cycle, as you well know. Um, are you seeing many incidents like this? And what impact might these incidents have on voter turnout? This uh, newly reported church arson in Mississippi is truly tragic. Our nation has wrestled with a very long history of church arsons, and often black churches have been the houses of worship that have been targeted. Just next week, uh, jury selection is scheduled to begin in the trial of Dylan Roof. Uh, you know, we are still living with the bitter reminder of the massacre of nine worshipers at a church in Charleston. Um, it's my hope that the Justice Department will bring its resources to bear to quickly investigate this arson to figure out uh, what happened and who was behind it. Uh, I am concerned about what appears to be a recent uptick in the targeting of houses of worship. And then we have to be deeply concerned about the timing here, uh, how proximate this incident is to the upcoming Tuesday election. Uh, I hope that uh, this is the end. Uh, I hope that we don't uh, continue to see these kinds of hate crimes. Uh, they are a stain on our democracy. We want a democracy at the end of the day where people can freely worship and most importantly, where they can freely participate in our political process and exercise the right to vote free from intimidation or harassment.